James Palms here. What's up guys, James Palms here. <laughs> Look at all these guys. Trekkie carpus grass just coming up like everywhere. Um, it's the planted Mexican fan palm. So this video, uh, I planted that this year. This video is to show when to prune your Mexican fan palm or just a palm tree in general. So when to prune a palm tree. So this one here, uh, it doesn't need a pruning terribly, but you could definitely clean up a bunch of these ones. So when I prune it is when the leaves are hanging on the ground, like this, like these leaves here, that one and this one, I can easily take these off. Um, this is a Mexican fan palm. None of these leaves here, all these ones that are perfectly green, like even though this is hanging, like so this is hanging, it's almost touching the ground. If it's in the way, then you can trim it off. But you don't have to, you can trim off anything you want from here down, you can trim off more. I mean, you can leave five, six, seven, eight leaves. The more I find is it's more nutrients for the palm. So if these are green, why would I cut them off? So even this one here, they're hanging down like this. This is kind of getting annoying. I'll probably hit this one soon. But basically, when they start to yellow like this, and they're hanging down and they're yellowing, you can trim them off. So all you do is just get a pair of secateurs like this and just uh, and just cut them off. And this one, this palm here, once they get really big like this, they start to be uh, uh, easier to use a saw. But you can you can just do this and bite on one side and then bite on the other side and um, that's pretty much it. This is that's not the best best tool for the job. There. So when they're starting to yellow like this, cut them off. Other than that, if they bug you, if they're being on the grass, you can cut them off. You can cut off more. Uh, some people say that the more you prune this, uh, the faster it grows. I don't really think that's the case, but the more energy for the tree, I just leave them on. They look nice when they're green. I'll, I will take a lot of these off in the winter, uh, coming into the fall here, uh, for for my protection method. I will definitely, but uh, and try to clip them close to the trunk. Uh, I'm kind of doing a little bit of a bad job with this, but I plan on uh, on uh, probably skinning this uh, one day anyways. So these right here don't don't tend to bother me, but you can definitely, this is sort of a poor job, you can definitely trim them tighter to the trunk. Uh, I don't really, I'm not really concerned about that. Like I said, I plan on skinning it. Uh, I'll be keeping up on the maintenance on it. Um, but as you can see, you get a, a lot of these sort of piled up here uh, and they're kind of a little nasty. They're sharp and you don't want to uh, prick yourself on them, but right now I'm not walking underneath the canopy of this palm anyways. Uh, from here is only uh, about two and a half, three, it's only about three feet right here uh, to the ground. So nobody's walking underneath there anyways. Um, so that's, uh, that's how you prune it anyways. You can prune uh, as much or as little as you want, but that's how you do it. And I recommend you just leave them on because uh, you can't really see them down there. If it gets in your way of your lawn care and different stuff and you want to cut them off, there's definitely two or three more of those couple down there. could easily take off two or three more. I'll leave them on for now, though. Uh, beautiful day here. It's about 30. Today is August 8th, I think, or 9th. I don't know. 8th or 9th. So I just got home from my beach vacation. I tried to make a quick video here. Palm's looking amazing. It's got three fronds right here, all attached. Four fronds, actually, all attached. Two of them are already to the patio here, uh, but they stay they stay in a spear, all knit nicely compacted together really solid so uh it'll be opening more up but uh it's about 30 i think it's about 31 32 celsius today with a lot of humidity i'm gonna be about 33 34 tomorrow with a lot of humidity again so nice temperatures nonetheless these little bastards do eat your leaves too so if you want to kill them or just chew them away that little bastard right there i watched them before eat a huge hole in only a minute or two they eat a huge hole so I'll get rid of them uh, as soon as I'm done this video. Anyways, beautiful afternoon here. It's about 6 o'clock. Sun's getting lower, but thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. And uh, any questions, leave them down below. I'll make another video if I need to. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.